Alright, hello! Hello, hello, hello! Welcome back to VR Master League here yet again. I'm Peldor. Yet again. Uh, welcome back to the stream. So, yeah, it's, well, 1am for Snipe Dash. Shout out to Snipe Dash. Only 11 here. Uh, so we're good! I mean, look, it's the weekend. We're rolling in uh, strong in OCE. Got this match here. Got Lulz in the chat. Lulz Echo. Let's go. I got Army Strong. What's up? Been too long. Not really. It's been like a day or two. But welcome back to the chat. Gish Nishku. Welcome as well. Burgy boy. I want a burger. Boy. Uh, I'm hungry. <laughs> Nonetheless, Mo as well. Mo cake. Momo cake, in fact. Hopefully not Momo from Avatar. That would be just devastating. Uh, but yeah. Glad to have you here as well. Alzors. Welcome. Welcome. All of you here for this encore. Zzz. I guess you would call it. A lot of streams tonight. We had uh, VRML 1, 2, and 3. All three channels rolling at various points in the day. Army and Snipe both reiterating it's 1 a.m. False. It's it's uh, definitely 11.01. It says so on my clock. Anyway, uh, so, Rad1 about to start here. Horsemen, last Centurions, and Horsemen coming in in the Diamond Division. Centurions over in Gold. Now these two teams pretty close together. Centurions, uh, 8 and 4, 6 and 4 for the Horsemen. So, as you can see, we are going to be in for, hopefully, a pretty competitive uh, match here between these two teams. See what, uh, what it provides, shall we, shall we? Snipe saying Pally's a mountain man. What does that mean? Is it the hair? Look. I've been, like, streaming all evening. Don't make me self-conscious about that now. I may be, uh, unkempt, but, you know, after this many hours in the day... You're lucky you're even seeing me. I should- I should be in the dark right about now. <laughs> nah, I'm- I'm kidding, of course. 
I think I need some cleanups. But I think this has been discussed as well in recent streams, so never you mind. Uh, these teams readying up, it looks like. At least I thought they were. Maybe not. Maybe I'll just come back. So, some discussion going on at the backboard. Uh, where are these players here on Horsemen? Formerly known, of course, as the Four Horsemen, but deciding to drop the four and, well, why not? All you need is one, which is to say all you need is to win. One. I don't know. Uh, Reggie Woods, what's up? Me. I'm not a gamer, not anymore. I'm just, I'm just a caster. I don't play games, especially during the season. This is my game. Now, what's up? Uh, glad to have Reggie back in the chat as well. Another recognizable face from just uh, the other day. Maybe even yesterday, right? My days get all mixed up here. So many casts here, I can never keep track anymore what day is what. But I do know today is Friday, well, slash Saturday, I guess, depending on where you're tuning in from. For me, it's still Friday for another 57 minutes. That said, uh, by the way, we got the first round starting out. So, Jelly with the disc. Jelly sending it over to Fallen and Fallen from the nest. Looking forward, looking back, but actually getting stunned just like that. It's clean. Oh, but no, dragging it in on the wind back. A beautiful save and almost make the play to spot, like right out of the stun. That was a stellar grab, but then just couldn't get rid of it uh, the way that they wanted to. So unfortunate results there, but hey, first goal 20 seconds in. Going right back to it. Haunted person, what up? Thanks for joining the chat here and joining the stream in VR Master League. Super Stab, Six Stallions. Well, indeed. Trying to work their way through. See, every time I see, uh, like Centurions, I always think Centaurs. Which aren't exactly horses, but they're almost horses. <laughs> the, the four Centaurs, Centaurions. Well, Kopesh here, four of them, uh, gets it to clean Mike. Clean Mike with the Mike check from the stun from Jelly at that. So Jelly going fish at the bottom of the floor. A lot of stuns going out once more. Frost with a disc, however, over at the midfield. They're going to play this uh, kind of patiently, you see. Frost down to the side. Fallen. Very uh, talented defender there and solid in that back line. They're really trying to play it patiently, uh, look, just creeping up. Inch by inch into the bubble, but slipping up there as it will be a stun and recovered still yet by Frost. Frost eyeing down the goal. The goalkeeper is stunned. A nice dive from Kopesh. So back to Boo. And Boo to the boat. I'm trying to drive it up again, but look at the coverage. Fantastic. Doesn't matter though. Fallen somehow coming through the cracks of the defense. And crack it in there first. Couple points for the tie. Tom Wetto's in there saying, Jersey? No, this is Australia. This is OC. <laughs> or are you talking about my Jersey? New Jersey, old Jersey, VR Jersey, all the jerseys. Luigi here with uh, the launch and sending it to the tunnel. Clean Mike. Now Frost taking a bit of a tap boost, so nicely done by Frost to get right back into the defensive end. You can see there, there's a uh, Tipu and nope, note two. It's Clean Mike getting stunned. More good dives coming out from Horseman this time. But Kopesh eyeing down the bow tie pass right down middle, but covered off. Kind of caught in no man's land because Frost was just coming out of the stun. Uh, right as I think that was Luigi kind of sent it or uh, crept up into the, the goal, I should say. So not really a lot of options there. And same here. Jelly just as well. Kind of uh, once you lose your ankle, right? You're, you let go of that anchor. You're basically, you're fully committed to whatever happens next, so you gotta have that extra, the next pass or the next shot, whatever it is. You're 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 thinking two moves ahead anytime you leave your anchors uh, as a QB with that disc. Now Frost here trying to do just that, there they go. Got the right idea with a pass, but a save from Clean. Clean Mike doing some defensive duties. Now all the meanwhile, the offensive end would have been an open goal had it been caught, but some uh, well-played defense on the boost. Over to the nest, breaking loose! Fallen! There he goes! Talked about the defensive skills inside that goal. And Uncanny is Fallen, sending it through to middle, where Luigi takes it right back. So, gotta get back into the defensive end, perhaps. Uh, nice shield, actually, so never mind. Boo! With a little self-pass, we'll have a little space. So my voice cracks, apparently I'm a teenager once again, again. 
like I said, it's been a lot of streams today, believe me, a lot of streams and a lot of goals now. Uh, that just bounces into it. Uh, Luigi nearly got the snag, but it won't be. It won't be a save, unfortunately. Uh, so, up by two. Harley Horseman, but sticking right in it. Still our Centurions. Army Strong heading to sleep. Uh, okay, well, good night. Have a, ha I hope uh, your bet pans out there. We'll see. How could you sleep with all the all the uncertainty in the air? I wouldn't be able to. <laughs> uh, but of course, thanks for joining. And yeah, hope you have a good night. The night is still young over on my end. <laughs> but uh, have a good one. And that's a good stun coming in from Boo. Recovery there to Clean Mike. Check one, two. Back to the bubble. But the bubble is uh, covered off and, well, three different defenders kind of rushing a slap. But that said, they'll get, uh, get it right back. It's Jelly looking for a clear. So these teams are still, neither one really finding a, uh, a massive advantage in terms of that rhythm. That said, that's a massive stack coming in in a split second. Uh, taken here by Clean Mike, however, midfield, got uh, got to be careful, a lot of bodies in the area. Easy to get that loss off a of body or get it stolen. And now a deep fling to Boo, Boo right back up to the station as they approach the tunnel. Three defenders closing it off. Trying to leave them in disrepair, but that disc is backed out there to Frost. Frost has that Pac-Man pass. And now all players, all points bulletin, trying to get back in. Some clever moves from Jelly. And squeezing it through, go fish! Frost gets a shot. And up 7 to 2 for Horseman. Oh, and there's a favorite name that I don't get to see all too often. Old Jack Burton cheering on Centurions and giving me an injection of energy. Glad to see old Jack back in the Twitch chat. Uh, Luigi Logic. Launching and a rough clear pass attempt to just kind of bouncing off. Uh, so it will be a turnover at least temporarily. Back tap to Luigi. Luigi is trying to get another soft one there, but at the moment uh, that rhythm, as I said, not really going. But kind of uh, as we approach the last few minutes, it has been Horseman starting to get a little bit more. Uh, you're seeing the more control and it, it is kind of sticking now on the blue side of the floor a little too long for comfort if you're uh, last Centurions. But Kopesh with a snag and Frost with a grab. Frost with a dodge and then handing it back to Boo. Boo right back now to Frost again but uh, slightly off on that catch and catching the hands of Kopesh. Tipu there right down midfield. Now there is a defender there. But Frost will still get it back. Sergeant CJ in there as well. Shouting out uh, to Jack and yeah, uh, some Centurion fans stopping by. Hope you're doing well. And you as well, Jack. Hey, hey, hey. Well, let's see. Hey, Maker's being thrown and the shot as well, but not into the goal. Clean Mike. Now they're playing some defense, but they gotta get it to the other side here. It's stuck on the blue zone for far too long, so as I say that, it's a long clear. Gonna be picked off by Clean Mike. Oh, everyone diving, but no one surviving but Mike. My goodness. It's Last Centurions getting a score. You see three different diving horses. But no remorse from Clean. So, just like that, two minute warning in the first round. It's within one goal. Three point differential here. Fallen, the disc. Yeah, kind of juking everyone out, out of their shoes there, it seemed like, as Momo points out. Piece of cake. Piece of Momo cake. I still, uh, still don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> what even is a Momo cake? It might actually be a thing. Is it like a brand I'm not aware of? Especially if it's a uh, OCE. It might be another thing like soggy budding snags, which I didn't understand uh, initially last season until people explained to me what it was. <laughs> but that said, oh, speaking of Momo Cake, the tier one sub gift. Well, thank you. Maybe uh, it will be a two from Tipu. And that one is for you. They are within one on the same page and starting to find some headway in this round. It's very, very close. If they can do that one more time, they might even be looking at a little comeback victory here in the last two minutes. Nice work. 
More Mora Cake. Now that also makes some sense. See, I was worried you're talking about this a Momo, but more and more. That's I could I can always use more cake. Uh, that's that uh, taking it back. Here it is, three in a row. Could it be? Oh no, it's gonna bounce. Uh, taken by looks like horsemen are at least gonna tap it. A beautiful stat coming in. Thirty-seven seconds left. It's, it's crunch time. It's clutch time. The next uh, goal could be, probably will be. Match deciding, or round deciding, that is to say. Another intercept, however, by Fallen. There are three defenders in there, so a tough giveaway uh, deep into the player. But actually missing the goal, or missing the grab. So now a chance at a goal, as they will clear it. Uh, there goes the stacks. 16 seconds left. This could be game winning, and they're getting it, but will not find it. It will not fall. Let's see a rebound. No, it's Jelly. Jelly saving the day. But another grab here, midfield, Kopesh. Kopesh down to Clean Mike. Clean Mike has to chuck it, and they will not. Oh my goodness, Fallen! What a force of nature. Round one is done. Two humongous saves from Horsemen will not be denied. Instead, we'll deliver the denials right back. Now, what a stellar ending to that round. Holy smokes. That is some back to back game winning potential goals but then the grabs the saves the clutch of clutch uh that was too too much wow i really shouldn't eat like that not this deep into the night after this mini cast but that's okay it was hype that was uh that was wow like i said uh cannot not be impressed by that you see that in oce i i, I started off the round talking about those talented goalkeepers you know, Fallen being one of them, certainly uh, Luigi Logic on the other side, but I mean, some stellar, stellar grabs at the end there. Oh, that was nice. Uh, definitely worthy of a, a hydration, if you can call this a hydration. Uh, thank you to Aprolix. Cheers. Feels good, man. Tastes good, man. All right. Well, oh, interesting thing with my overlays there. I may have gotten a little bit antsy and did it too early. Anyway, never you mind, never you mind, because guess what? Round two. And I am hoping, fingers crossed, we're going to get a round three, or at the very least, another exciting round like that. That was almost a stellar, stellar comeback from Centurions. Got to hand it to them, but... Oh, that defense was something else. That said, a missed shot there, starting it off a Kopesh, but they will reposition out, so nicely done. You can see the defense swarming them like bees, really trying to leave no one uncovered. What a recovery, but the second chance, the put back from Tipu, will complete their uh, attempt at the goal. That was a really nice save from Fallen, though. Gotta hand it to him again. I mean... Had the, uh, the defense in the area trying to maybe stun and uh, Fallen was shielding, didn't matter. Still got a little tap save, but as is the case with saves like that, if you can't get the clear and the enemy was positioned well enough, I mean, they just got the, the second uh, second and third attempts, basically. Uh, those are the ones that really damage his teams the most. I said Jelly, again, trying to be a slippery little eel, but uh, no deal. It's going to be dealt back to Frost, and Frost getting stunned and getting it jacked. Jacked Frost? Maybe. Kopesh, though, slinging it back to the tunnel, and Jelly with a disc once again. A uh, hot pass over there. A lot of sauce behind it to Fallen, but Fallen caught it, no problem. Anchoring down now. You can see the positioning here as the, the defense in the midfield trying to kind of collapse here. Clean Mike approaching Jelly. And stunning Jelly. Will it matter? Well, nope. Boo! Getting splattered with the stun as well. That's a clear from Kopesh. So three, almost all four players linking up for them. And actually, look at that. They just get there in a hurry. Oh, Miss Q from Horseman on that one. Because all those players, that triple stack was stunned out for a couple seconds there. Uh, but none of the Horseman players were actually able to find a, a chain and get down the floor. So despite the, the fact that uh, Centurions kind of came back from deeper down on the floor and on uh, delayed boost because they were all linked together, they were just there uh, much faster than Horsemen could react. So punishing for sure. But Jelly here with the disc. And Tipu with a grab. Wow, momentum shift. Talk about that between the rounds. A soft one, a little too far back for the grab. Uh, slapping it into the tunnel now. And Crazy Kit, my crazy favorite. What's up? <laughs> Welcome back to the Twitch chat. Hey, another frequent viewer here on streams. Everyone stopping by as Tipu 
waves goodbye and says uh, hello to the seventh point. This is quite the turnaround for Centurions. How about that? See Momo in there with mad respect for the goalie. And again, cheers for uh, the tier one sub as well. Gifted there. Mad respect for that, of course. Appreciate that very, very much here in VRML. Anyone supporting, even whether it's subs, bits, or simply chatting. Uh, that means as much as anything for sure to these teams. And for our caster, uh, casting volunteers here on the stream. And that said, back into the blue zone. Luigi Logic playing that back line. Knowing that, uh, that they have a multi-goal advantage, so not wanting to concede any potential threes, and you can't argue with that, especially since we got a dropout of one of the players. It uh, looks like Fallen for, for Horseman uh, has left the match or crashed, as the case may be. Not sure of the situation, but hopeful for them that they get uh, their full four back here quite soon. Now that said, back into the orange zone. Uh, picked off here. Oh, Kopesh actually just beyond the reach, so Boo sending it. Now, let's, uh, Last Centurion's got to be careful here, just because they're up by 7 and just because they're on a 4v3 advantage. Uh, you can't take that for granted. Let's see, Tipu. Well, he plants it. Not too shabby, it's 9 points up. Uh, but yeah, I was going to say, you know, just because you have the goal advantage, just, uh, just because you have the numbers advantage, you cannot take that as a guarantee for anything, right? Uh, it's kind of, it's almost a trap in itself if you get too caught up in, in thinking that you're guaranteed a win because of whatever situation or however far ahead you are. Those are the moments where you'll see teams start to be let back into the game. Uh, the losing teams, that is to say. So definitely something uh, that necessitates, you know, awareness and, and just control. You got to still play the same game from start to finish, no matter how the flow of the match changes. But yeah, with that, I mean, uh, got Fallen back into the game, so Fallen did get up, and that's great to see. And giddy up for the Horsemen, they gotta get back into this with still six minutes to spare, so they're not in uh, any kind of, you know, state of disrepair. They can get back, not a problem. We, we saw their strength in round one, for, uh, for sure, so. Never far away from a comeback situation. And Horsemen, they can get it done. Uh, Centurions, though. If they keep sticking true to what they've been doing and they, they don't get too hurried and too rushed, that's a nice catch from Jelly. You know, Centurion's just the same. Uh, they can be good for this round. Really biggest thing uh, going against Centurion's, I feel like, is just the clock. The clock is our biggest enemy because despite the lead, it's maintaining this lead against a very strong team in Horsemen. It's maintaining this for the next five minutes, so that's kind of the enemy. That said, it's Clean Mike! Almost a goal, but that's going to bounce high, and uh, the players here for Horsemen kind of having trouble regaining control for a little while, but eventually Fallen takes it, coming back uh, out of that crash, reconnecting, and looking to connect on some shots. Still scoreless after five minutes in round two, despite scoring, uh, what, seven points in the first round. But that said, uh, back to Frost. Frost with a slow move up the floor, trying to evade the trio of defenders there, and kind of a triangle above him. Uh, jellyfish the disc and jellyfish the bounce that's gonna go right back to guess who luigi like a plumber well clogging up the lane so i guess maybe a really bad plumber but nonetheless luigi it's a him and boo gets it back again but yeah honestly wise move from luigi uh playing it further back you know uh now i will say generally you do want obviously some uh recess in the midfield would be super handy but at this point with uh, this kind of advantage a three would be the absolute worst thing for Centurions to give away. So if they can stop that, I mean, that in itself is a battle won. Uh, that said, a another steal uh, from Jelly in that midfield. Been damaging in that regard. And into the goal! Luigi was stunned by, I believe, Fallen. And, and you've got to know, we saw what Fallen did as a goalie for the Horsemen in round one. So Fallen knows all the tricks. He, he knows the pains of having to deal with defenders all up in your grill, right? So... A little uh, goalie on goalie violence there. Fallen on Luigi, enabling that first score finally here for the Horsemen. Took a while though. And Agent Victoria once again stopping by in the chat. Great to see ya. Saying Centurions might have found their stride. Sugar fluff as well. Man, we got cake. We got sugar. And I've got my soda, so it's all uh, fitting here in the stream tonight. It's Friday night slash Saturday morning or evening. 
I think it's Saturday evening for you guys in uh, Australia, right? Slash New Zealand, so... Whatever the case is. <laughs> it's the weekend, is my main point, and uh... I don't know, there's just, there's something, that the weekend hits uh, a little bit differently for these streams, you know? But, we're moving! We're vibing! Last Centurions, they're striving for that victory here to force that round three. Oh, the juke so from Frost, and that was icy, and that was hot. Melting through the defenders on the spot, and they're up by a five still yet, but Horsemen, we saw this from Centurions in round one, where they made a late round comeback, a few goals in a row. So just like I said last time around, I'm going to say it again. Do not allow three goals in a row. Uh, this time, though, applying to the Horsemen, because the Horsemen are starting to find their stride right back. Very fittingly for Horses, I suppose. Uh, but that said, Clean Mike here with a disc, and the defense retreating into the goal for Horsemen. Now with that, it's Kopesh being stunned by Frost. And... With that... Oh, I didn't... I honestly didn't even tend the word sneak that time, but I'll take it. <laughs> I was just talking about cake, because I like it. But Sugar uh, was in the chat, so, you know, it was a sweet opportunity for a very neat delivery. On oh, the puns and the sneaks, I suppose, but they're going to creep back into uh, the other lane, but back again into the hands of Kopesh and Kopesh. Deep down midfield, that's going to bounce not quite flat. A rebound still might be had, and there's Tipu for the uh, six meter two. Big goal for them, because that pushes them up. Uh, right back, uh, 11 to 4, and with less than two minutes left, I mean, seven point advantage, not insurmountable, but unlikely is all, given the time. We'll see. We'll see. Grumpiest Broom asking any matches after this. Maybe. But also, no, uh, at least not immediately. This is uh, the lone standing match for OCE, at least for the next few hours. Agent Victoria saying Tipu cannot be stopped. Well, let's see. Mike cannot either. And Mike, assisted by Tipu, who will not stop, cannot stop. They're up 13 to 4. Round 3 looking all the more likely here real soon. Crazy kick saying Tipu's pog. Yeah, I had a Tipu here in the Twitch chat just yesterday as well. And... More than just yesterday, uh, just throughout the weeks, rather. Like, like I said, it's great to see you guys here in these, for me, late nights. Uh, good to have the community on support. All right, now, Horseman a little bit on life support for this round. I What a turnaround. You know, 7 to 6 in round 1. But now piling on 15 points for Centurions in round 2. So they have more than found their stride. They are just galloping away at this uh, this expedition down in round two. The full 10 minutes has just been pretty much, have just been nothing but us Centurions, it feels like. Uh, Frost making way, but being stunned out of the way. Clean Mike, another grab, and a clear. Will be a bouncy one right back to clean, in fact. So they're going to send one final heave, but not meeting any results. Uh, round two going to Centurions in rather dominant fashion now i know for the horsemen they did have uh, a crash at some point kind of got off to a little rough start there so that could always be a factor and uh, they're just gonna have to clean it up and go into round uh, three feeling you know hopefully for them refreshed uh, ready to go and clap back much like uh, much like centurions were able to so fun game and i love to see the round threes as always my favorite thing in the world when it comes to uh uh, these streams here. All right, so with that, yeah, a uh, fun match so far. Crumpiest room, so help me if you call me old again. Uh, but otherwise, <laughs> uh, that was fun stuff. And Momo Cake saying good camera, uh, good camera work on those angles. Appreciate that. Thank you. Camera uh, doing cameras are, is, is fun. It's um, I I enjoy it just as much as just as much as casting for different reasons. But it's kind of a, a fun thing in itself. Now doing both at once, I usually like doing you know one or the other, and then it can get really good. But cheers with my invisible green screen drink. 
Uh, that said, guys, we're going, we're going, I hope, uh, to the third round. So here we go. Thanks for hanging out with me here and hanging out watching these OCE teams uh, high up in their division. And right now it's Clean Mike with precision. Gets the first couple right off that neutral draw. Seven seconds. <laughs> Grumpiest broom, so help me! I'm a beautiful young ma'am. You know what? I'll take it. <laughs> In any case, grabbed uh, here on this launch. Nice start for Centurions and uh, really for Horsemen. They, they need to find some reactions here soon. Uh, they, they went too long uh, without some uh, scores. In sequence. I mean, they, they had a couple there towards the end, but... For uh, the horsemen, they definitely want a much more cohesive start. Yeah, like missed passes and things like this. This is this is what they want to avoid. They need to find that rhythm uh, because nine minutes to do it—that's a lot of time. But you you don't want to be waiting until the last few minutes to start finding your stride again. So let's see, Jelly uh, to the back four, but sun out and cleared from Mike. Now Mike got a little caught up there in the Geo, but still breaking free was Kopesh. Kopesh too tough on the angle, going for the backboard, but the angle was not there. Clean Mike sending it, but no uh, buddy home. Kopesh might still get that yet. Great stun, and another one! Four points. Kopesh off of the uh, bounce, able to stun and recover. And deliver, for that matter. Sergeant CJ saying Pog Poo is bringing it. I don't know how I feel about that either. But T Poo is Pogs. <laughs> I just don't know about Pog Poo. That's. We're treading some fine waters there, is all. <laughs> but nonetheless, uh, taking it here is Luigi. Luigi. Right back for Centurions. Another turnover. This is such dangerous territory. That's a deep heave that's going to bounce the corner. And bounce to the bottom. A goal covered off here. Frost though, stun. Oh, but the headbutt. I'm not even sure if that was more so Frost uh, butting the disc or the disc butting Frost. But nonetheless, it's going to cost them still yet a two. Six to zero. Centurions ahead by a few goals. And T Poo with a T Pog building themselves up a six point lead. And that is too nice. So showing no remorse on the horse, but maybe on course off of this stack. This Joust uh, taking it back as Jelly and Boo kind of missing each other a little bit there, needing to find some grabs, uh, find that speed if they can. Frost with a little bit of space. Now, there's a the stack coming in hot from Horseman. That was nice. Uh, see if they can get something going, though. They got the pass right at the bottom of the goal. They will go for it to Boo. Boo looking for the teammate cutting there, falling somehow through the tall trees. What a shot from Fallen. Uh, that was through, again, look at that. A, a picket fence of defenders right at the edge of the bubble and then through the goalie as well. In fact, because of the two defenders uh, kind of closing off, might have made it easy for the goalkeeper to lose track of the disc once it caught, uh, came out. So either or, that was a great shot. Uh, they pull back within four points. Now back to the floor, Kopesh. Coming unglued there with a kind of windmill clear, anchoring down. Tipu passing it and almost picked off, but will be rebounded to clean. Clean Mike from the bottoms, but being stunned. So Boo clearing it. And uh, once again, here's where they, where they need, I think, for uh, the horsemen to just get a little bit quicker on looking for some of their stacks and such, because we're seeing on some of these clears now, you know, uh, they're throwing the disc to the other end, but then they're not immediately looking for their stack uh, all the time once they throw it. And I think that's where, you know, they can get a little bit more juice flowing to help bring them back. You know, whether whether it's a, a stack with a teammate or just a leech off of an enemy team, base, uh, the enemy team basically. But yeah, just maximizing that APM, those actions per minute. You know, you're you're, you're throwing the disc, you're clearing it, or you're passing it, but you're not getting caught up in watching what happens after you throw it uh, because obviously you know doing that 
Whereas you could be communicating with your team, or you could be linking up for a stack, things like that. That's that's what will get you the goals on the other side. But otherwise, if you're, you're not fast enough on those reactions, you're just going to give up the clear to the enemy team. They're going to come back at you, which Centurions have been doing. And thus scoring 8-2 to two now thus far. Uh, so there it is again, another recovery. I'm kind of curious here just to check on um, possession time. So actually, possession time extremely close. I, I feel like particularly in the latter maybe, I don't know, 10 to 15 minutes, it, it's felt like Centurions have had just more control. But then again, you got to factor in the uh, that Centurions... Uh, one reason they're not holding on to this for terribly long is because their quick reactions on the shots as well. So they, they haven't even needed to hold uh, onto the disc for a lot of time on some of these breakaway goals, for instance. So that's another factor definitely at play. But let's see. Horseman uh, on the defensive end. I mean, everyone in the midfield, the thing is, they can't afford this. Centurions, they're ahead by six points. They got four minutes left. And if uh, no one decides to pressure for the Horseman, Centurions can absolutely wither away that clock minute by minute. And that's going to be to their advantage. I said, uh, said it in round one how, and round two actually, how uh, the clock was the worst enemy of Centurions. In the sense, because if, if it was up to them, they would love for this clock to be saying, you know, one minute left and s securing a, a victory soon. But they still have a lot of time. That's, uh, that pass is smooth. The finish a little bit uh, haphazard there. So that is going to be a big hazard for a turnover into a goal. And this is what I was beating, right? About uh, keeping the pedal on the metal, not getting too lax. That was a very relaxed shot. And that could cost them dearly, especially if this turns into a shot, even a three. Those are the ones that you do not want to give up for Centurions. you got to keep that same degree of focus the entire way through. Do not leave an avenue for horsemen to, to start feeling like, like they can make a comeback here. That is of utmost importance. Now as it sends, it gets sent into the bubble, Kopesh taking it back and I can only expect maybe a slowdown uh, potentially if they can. Uh, three minutes left. Big grab. Here it goes again. Uh, the goal is closed however. They're leaving Luigi Logic much like the prior rounds uh, back in the the goal, just to uh, deny any threes. So smart thing. Basically not wanting to move up the floor at all until that clear is guaranteed for Centurions. So smart moves there, and again, some great disc control. Uh, really just staying on this side, their own side of the floor a long time, but not really giving up possession uh, here. And No matter what, they're wasting a lot of clock. Uh, that's going to go into the bubble where it's recovered by Kopesh. Kopesh with a million moves all in the books and booking it for uh, the two-point look. Looking like a whirling dervish. Look at that, right through, causing a racket. And they racked themselves up to eight points, uh, an eight points lead. Two minutes left. Centurions, the last Centurions are looking to uh, complete this this uh, reverse sweep here, potentially soon. So uh, over to Frost. Frost now trying to line up that pass to Jelly. And they really, really need this goal to go. A two-point or three-point or otherwise with some aggressive defense. Frost now backing it out, tapping off the root. So whirling around uh, the Nuggets and trying to find an anchored goal, but maybe losing the arms, it seems like. Minute 43 left and inverting, converting. It's fallen, making a shot. They bring him back within six points. Not over yet. Not over yet. See, Dazfire in there is saying that was poetry in flight. I'm assuming on the that Kopesh move a couple minutes ago or a couple possessions ago. Uh, speaking of the man, there's Kopesh with the disc. And they're making their final stand here, which is to say, more like a final stand still. <laughs> As they uh, wave around Kopesh, waving to Frost there. But uh, looking like, you know, for last Centurions, they're about to become the first Centurions in terms of this match, uh, taking... Taking the crown. And in a very impressive fashion, too. You know, domineering in that second round and uh, really, really prioritizing that control and, and clock uh, management here in round three. So 40 seconds left. It's, again, it's not over, but it's about to be. They need a three. Uh, anchoring down. Couldn't get it. 
So here it goes. This is really the last possible attempt. I mean, they need a three-point score, and they need it now, now. Uh, that's going to be anchored, but just nobody there, unfortunately, kind of between the two teammates. So with that, this is going to conclude, indeed, the round guaranteeing the reverse sweep from last centurions as that nearly is on for the goal recovered there by clean mike but clean mike getting stunned seven seconds left a beautiful grab kopesh what a snag right back from clean mike but another narrow miss nonetheless nonetheless that is the victory going the way of centurions on blue what a round what a series and what a comeback uh, for Centurions after being taken in the first round by just a narrow point. <laughs> Alright, so with that, ladies and gents, I'll bring up as ever, always these stats, courtesy of IgniteVR.gg, taking a look at what we've got. Let's get a look-see, shall we? And yeah, it was uh, for the Horseman, Boo, with the two and the two uh, points and assists. Five saves, three steals, 42 stuns. Uh, a mammoth amount of brawls being had by a lot of these players, in fact, looking at, across the board. Uh, Fallen with four points, 22 stuns. He had... Uh, as well, this was, mind you, only in rounds 2 and 3, because Fallen did crash, so I think lost some of the stats. Because uh, Fallen had, uh, what, 2 or 3 stellar saves in round 1. Uh, they were incredible. But uh, Frost as well, with 3 saves, along with those 5 points, 1 assist, 42 stuns. Uh, Jelly with 2 assists, 1 save, 2 steals, and 38 stuns. So, immense. Immense, immense on the defense. Uh, for Centurions, though, it was Clean Mike, 6 points, 2 assists, 2 saves, 39 stuns. Kopesh, uh, 8 points, 5 assists, 57 stuns. My jaw's hurting just thinking about it. Um, <laughs> Luigi Logic putting in as well, a couple saves, 1 steal, 8 stuns, and again, just holding that back line once Centurions had, had the, uh, the lead. Yeah, he was there in rounds 2 and 3, just making sure that nothing went in from deep. Uh, Tipu. T-Pog. I concede. Twitch chat. T-Pog. Or Pog-Poo, as the case may be. I'll, uh, I'll give you that one. But 15 points. Uh, two assists, two saves, three stuns and four, or three steals and 42 stuns. So that is a mammoth of an effort from T-Poo. You know? Applause to that. Uh, that's it. That will do it for us here on this stream, I do believe. It's been a long night. Uh, with that, Oh, you can see the results there. Pawn stream. Uh, yeah, Centurions. See there, uh, the, the scores in the middle of the screen. The middle bottom of the uh, the scoreboard there. It was a reverse sweep, impressively. Uh, channel points, of course, of course. Can't forget that. And I shan't. And I won't. And I shan't tee. Let's see. Centurions, complete the prediction. There you go. Enjoy your points. Newton saying, still need some delay to my audio versus video. Oh, see, the problem with that, too, is I don't want to... I don't want that to interfere. I know it's slight, but I don't want that to interfere with like the casters as well. So I, I don't know. I mean, I can maybe. I think what I need to do is just decrease maybe resolution a little bit because it might be my resources. I don't know. We'll look into it for sure. Uh, but that said, yeah. Or I, what if I talk real slow and enunciate? Maybe it'll look like my words are coming out more on time. Probably not. I don't think that's how timings work. Uh, whatever. Math was never my strong suit. Time and space, neither. Uh, now let's see. Match is not. So there is one more match, as I mentioned later. I don't know that I'll be available to do it. We shall see. Uh, but we got uh, Outlaws and Talos. That's in three hours from now. I think math checks out. <laughs> Relatively speaking. Um, Oh, and actually, Silent Stunners versus, uh, versus Entropy, which uh, is also even later. So, we shall see. We shall see. Uh, but yeah. With that, that's probably going to do it. Uh, hopefully, you're doing well, Newton, as, uh, as well. Because you, you were uh, suffering from those uh, storms and, and power outages, right? So, hopefully, you're, you guys are all safe and healthy and happy. And good to each other, and we'll see you, you know. Anyway, 
Hopefully you're doing well. Because uh, I know that's been been a thing. And in fact, I didn't even realize how big of a thing it's been. Uh, because I've been so caught up in the cast and not paying attention to the news. You know, I heard about it. But then finally, like last night, I was finally like actually reading more articles and, and seeing some posts and things. And dang, it got kind of it got kind of bad. So I, I'm glad you, uh, you're doing well. Hopefully all you guys will yeah, remain that way. Um, and no more power outages. Because nothing else. That means no more Newton dads in the Twitch chat. And we can't have that, can we? But... But yeah, uh, definitely, you guys stay safe. And that applies to all of you who tuned in. Yeah, um, thank you for doing so. And yeah, again, thank you to Momo for the Twitch sub. The the Prime sub there, Tier 1 gifted uh, at the start of this match. As well as the compliments on the cameras and whatnot. Uh, and cheers for the, the cake. The cake word sneak. Uh, I think that about covers it. Uh, also, shout out to... Fihi, I believe, with the follow a few minutes ago. Appreciate that, as well as Blitz. So, you guys rock. Uh, Schlart, apparently also suffering from powder out- uh, powder out- Are you out of powder, Schlart? Because I am. Clearly. I'm gonna stop now, but that said, uh, have a good one, guys. I've been Palador, this has been VR Master League here, Season 3, Cycle 2, Week 6. I know I said Week 7 earlier in the week, but I was wrong. <laughs> week 6. Uh, be happy, healthy, safe, and be good to each other, guys. And I'll see you again around the bend sometime soon. Season 3 of VRML Echo Arena is brought to you by HyperX, Rebuff Reality, Asterion Products, ProTube VR, VR Cover, Fixed Gaming, and VRWare.net. know what sugar fluff thank you for tuning into vrml